All right, guys, welcome back to the Hurricane Game Preview and Review. Uh, again, the chat room is open for about another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll, they'll wrap, we'll wrap it up. But, you know, the thing I want to look at, you know, when I look at when I look at FAMU, is I look at, you know, they're coached by Joe Taylor. Joe Taylor, let's, let me be honest with you guys. It's a, I said this in the preview a couple of weeks ago. They are, he, he is a pretty darn good coach. And when you look at Joe Taylor, okay, I, Joe Taylor is a guy that should be coaching an FBS, a major college football program. Because this, this, this is a pretty darn good coach. Now, when you look at FAMU offensively, the thing that really sticks out at me when I watch FAMU um, is, you know, his record is 214, 82, and 20, and 4. It's about a 720 clip in his, in his stop wherever he's gone. Um, again, a little key note about FAMU. They're going to lose Curtis Pulley. They lost Pulley last year, you know. Uh, his, his quarterback rating was 140.43. And when we played him at Lanch at, at Sun Life last year, he was 10 of 25, 144 yards and an interception. But where he hurt us, and I don't think Uppi is going to do this as much on Thursday night, is he rushed for 81 yards on 17 carries. That's being fully last year, and he was also offensive to me as offensive player of the year. So that's not going to hurt us as much. Philip Sylvester, you know, they returned. We're going to have to be keep an eye on him. He's one. He's, he's a first team all preseason MEAC coming back. He's one of five on their, on their team returning in 2010. Uh, they do have Adrian Smith, that wide receiver, and a tight end, like I said earlier, Max Purcell. But he only caught nine balls last year. So, and in our game last year, he just had one catch for six yards. So, I'm not too worried about them. But we're going to get a good test, test from Isaac West in this game. Um, and they also returned Kevin Ellie, who was their leading receiver a year ago. So, and Isaac West is six foot two. Uh, so he's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be tested. I wanna, I wanna see if Occupy can be able to go up top against our secondary. I don't think he will. Um, you have to think this is gonna be one of those deals where, where not only we win this game, but I think we win this game going away on Thursday night. Like I said, this is a team, FAMU, we're the only FBS team on their schedule all year. Okay. You will have to remember that this team shut down Hampton last year, only allowed six points. So they have pretty decent defensively. And they returned Turk Curtis Holcomb, who had one of the two picks J-12 through last year. That's something we, if we're gonna have, to, we're going to have to be aware of. J12's got to cut down on the picks, and that we have to be aware. We have to. He has to make better decisions. He, if he's going to be the leader, everyone says he's going to be. This we have to make. He has to make a statement starting Thursday night, because when we go to Columbus nine days, a week from Saturday. The thing that's going to have to be certain is the picks. You know, two picks last year and some sacks there, but you can't take sacks and you can't make mistakes. And we and I tell you, we own this is only our only dress rehearsal before we go up to Columbus. So we're going to have to get sure everything's clicking. We want not get anybody hurt. Let's get the starters going. We get that on, and once we do that, we, will go, we are going to make sure that we send a message to Ohio State, and they'll be playing that very same night when they host Marshall up in the Horseshoe in Columbus. And also another team that we face after the bye week also plays Thursday night in Salt Lake City, and that's Pittsburgh against Utah. So, but 
So now you just look at it from this perspective, folks. Thursday night, we have to be ready for this game. We cannot make mistakes. I need to see, see better protection by the offensive line. How good will the offensive line be in this game? That's going to be critical. I also want to see our defensive line get going. I want to see the defensive line. I want to see if Force is going to be playing. If, re, if, if our D line can get going. I also want to see Colin McCarthy, how he does as the leader of the defense in the middle this year. I like the guy. I think he's a tackling machine, but he's if, but he's always but he's been absent at times and I at times in missing tackles. But he was a he was finally the guy when healthy up here one of the first linebackers in the game. He has that he had that potential. He always had that potential. He not got one. But when you look at it now I think I think we I need to see a healthy Spence back this year and hopefully Cookie could step up and be and be a force on the on the strong side. And they're sharp and gone. When I look at now the second cold, then I want to look at the secondary. The secondary I think we're very strong, you know. The secondary, you know, we, we have, of course the stars are gonna be grand and they're gonna be D V D, it's gonna be Ray Ray, Armstrong, and Vaughn Telemont. So you know we're set there. But when I look at Fam you Fam you secondary, it's a thing we're gonna I think we're gonna have to start we're gonna exploit in this game. Plenty plenty in this game. Quan Hall Curtis Holcomb, you know, Jay Tull's not going to make those mistakes he made last year. Uh, and they return Alvis, Alvis Graham, who was their leading tackle last year for FAMU with 69 tackles. And six and a half of them for loss. You know, I don't, like I said, you know, this is the kind of guy, you know. This is a team, we, like I said, we, we're closing. And I want to close this out with this point. Cannot make mistakes in this game. Can't get any, like I said, I, and I know it's, I repeat myself with this, but it bears repeating here. We cannot, this is going to be the biggest key. Do not get anyone hurt and have our guys stay healthy when we go up to Columbus a week from Saturday. So, So that's going to be the thing. We have got to understand who we are facing Thursday night. So we basically let's 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 say this about FAMU. This is a team we should beat. This is a team we should handle handily. And if we don't turn the ball over, if we don't make take silly sacks, we don't commit sloppy penalties and and silly errors. This is a game we win absolutely going away. I'm going to make a prediction right now. I'm going to say in this game, Canes 55, FAMU 13. Guys, the, I, the chat room is now closed. The chat room is now closed for the night. Um, so we're going to finish this up. Um, for those that didn't get to participate tonight, um, I hope to see you guys on Friday, 12 noon. I'll do a game wrap up, give the grades, give the game balls out. I will see you on Friday at 12 noon back in the home base from Atlantic City, New Jersey to Tropicana Hotel good night and go Canes